my Pisces friends, how are you today? Welcome to the channel. We're getting ready to start your reading. I'm broadcasting from Chicago. I would love to hear where you're from. I used to travel worldwide for business, and so it's always fun to hear where everybody is viewing from. The energy that you have is the Ace of Swords, so you have a lot of clarity coming into the reading. I like that for you. I always like clarity. So let's see what we have here. You're in the energy of the Two of Coins. So you're either juggling somebody, that's what I'm getting from you, is that you're really not, you're uncertain about something. You're juggling two different ideas, two different options. You're probably dating more than one person. We also get that something has ruffled your feathers. We get the Queen of Swords reversed is usually somebody who is bitter or on the war path. I would say the war path. You seem to have a lot of clarity here. So when we get the Queen of Swords reversed, it means that you feel angry about somebody who didn't treat you very well. They may have juggled you. I don't know what the circumstances are, but we'll find out. All right, we also get the Page of Wands. You have been looking for answers. You are willing to throw caution to the winds. You are willing to step into the world and start fresh again, which I like for you. But Pisces, you know, you're, you're very resilient in many ways. So let's see the energy of the other person. We have Virgo energy. Well, that is your seventh house uh, on the astrology wheel for partnership. Virgo energy is very grounded, very much rooted in security, very much lives day to day, oftentimes a workaholic. So that could be a part of the issue for you. The other energy that they're bringing in is a sun card. Ooh, Leo energy. So this person may be a Virgo or a Leo with the opposite sign in it. Virgo, Leo energy is very powerful together. It's um, your person is coming in really wanting to have fun with you, wanting to sort of yuck it up, you know, make love, do a little dance. So they're seeing things from a different perspective than you are. What else do we have? We have the devil energy. Okay. So there we go. Your person is, I think, a workaholic who likes to have a lot of fun. <laughs> so let's look and see also what the clarifiers are here for you. So why do we have the Ace of Swords for our beautiful Pisces friends? Ace of Swords. Why is that energy? What is it that you have in which you own great clarity about the Emperor? So the Emperor card is Aries energy and it's all about leadership. It's about the energy of being very successful. It's about the energy. You know, I feel, Pisces, that your person is very successful. They may be a workaholic. Very common to Virgo energy. The Sun card, though, says that they can be quite obsessive with this emperor energy about having fun with that devil also. So the devil's in the details, quite literally. Let's see what we have here. We have the Strength card. Wow, a lot of major arcana here. So you have the sun, the devil, the strength, and the emperor. Very powerful reading. So the strength card means that we have the infinity symbol. You still have a desire for this person, but you are not going to be juggled is what I'm seeing. That's just not going to work for you. Both of you have a really strong connection to each other. That strength card with the infinity symbol speaks of probably a past life together. The Father of Swords. Okay, another card of deep clarity coming into this reading. So I don't think that there's much that's hidden other than this person's motives. So why do we have the Two of Coins here for you, Pisces? What do we have here? The Six of Swords. So you have moved forward or you're moving forward successfully because what I'm getting is that you're going to heal some energy here. You're going to clear the air with this person. The Six of Swords means that you're healing, that you've healed, that you're, that's the energy that you're bringing in about this Two of Coins juggling. Yep, 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 yep. There's, we have the devil and the devil. Your person juggled you. You learned about it. You found out about it. You did some investigative work. It made you angry. That devil energy. So why is the devil here in your energy field? Three of Swords. There we go. Two of Coins, Three of Swords. So often the combination that I see when somebody has, it has you in a third party situation, whether you know it or not, but clearly you know it. And it looks like you found out on your own. You did this investigative work. 
Okay, so why is the Queen of Swords reversed? Ooh, that is a card that I wouldn't want to appear in my reading if somebody felt that way about me because it's being on the warpath. Yep, the Tower card. <laughs> How does this happen? All right, Aries energy again. You know, just you breaking up with the person. You just absolutely saying, hell no, hell to the no. You know, you really love this person. You really thought they were your person. You have great clarity about what you want, what you will not put up with. But look at what flipped over, literally. You are planning on healing. You know, you just don't deserve this. Pisces, you deserve so much better. And that's what I'm getting. You're just going to heal from this. The nine of coins, single, ready to mingle, out in the world, more than happy to just uh, let this person go. You have done it. You broke things off very suddenly. So you are in a good frame of mind again. And let's see why we have the Page of Wards. You, the Page of Wands. You are throwing caution to the winds. And we have the Eight of Coins. You want to get to know all the truth. You feel very good about the truth, Pisces. The Four of Cups is you absolutely know that your person was toxic, that they weren't always sharing their emotions with you. They were holding back. They were hiding things just like that rat on those cups of love. They didn't tell you that they loved you. The Eight of Wands, you want you want passion and fulfillment in your life. You have two eights of stability, the nine of being very much in charge of your life. So let's look and see what we have here. Why is this Virgo energy here that they're bringing in? Ace of Swords. Okay, so I feel as though they're coming clean with you. But I will say this, when somebody comes forward with devil energy in the Ace of Swords, I feel as though they tell you the truth, but ne not necessarily the whole truth. The Ace of Swords, the Ace of Swords. So they're coming in, this represents their energy more than yours. So the clarity is, is that they really do want to be somebody significant in your life. They still want to walk by your side. They have fire in their belly, fire sign, fire sign. The Emperor card is all about being large and in charge in a leadership role. Your person's probably very successful and may have options because of that success. Tell us more about the Virgo energy here. Five of Wands putting you in a feeling of competition, you know. Eight of Coins, very interesting. Eight of Coins energy. So there's a lot of eights on the board here. We do have, that's actually the Seven of Coins. So you were invested in this relationship, but the toxicity, I think probably the sex was great. <laughs> the reason I say that is the fiery energy, the sun card, the eight of wands, and the strength card. So I do think that that maybe was very compelling to you, Pisces. But the eight of coins, your person really wants to come in and tell you that they've learned a lesson because the eight of coins is about learning a lesson. Okay, tell us what lesson they learned. Oh, they come in with an apology. Well, they learned that they're not supposed to put you into a situation or anybody. They're not, we're not supposed to juggle people and hurt them. You know, you were hurt very badly. So let's see. The hanged man. So they're coming in. They're apologizing. They're, they're telling you the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Uh, they want to learn. They want to heal the relationship. They do come in with an apology, and then they take a wait and see attitude, whether as whether you're to whether you're going to accept their apology. The sun card. Why are they coming in? Well, they feel really they love being with you. So tell us about that. Yep, the eight of cups. You walked away. You walked away, and they want you back. They want that sunshine in their life. They're waiting for you. And uh, But you clearly walked away from them. All right, the Ten of Coins. So the Ten of Coins can mean for some of you that your person's married and didn't tell you, or they said they were getting a divorce and they're not getting a divorce. So, you know, whatever they told you, the truth came out. That is also Virgo energy. Tell us more about that, please. The Justice, yep, that's what I thought. The Justice card is usually the initiation of paperwork for divorce. It also can be on the flip side, if you're getting married to someone, it is the paperwork for the marriage license. But it looks as though your person was married, 10 of coins. 
they didn't tell you the truth about this and you walked away and they want you back. They want you back big time. So the Sun card, what is it that they actually want to have with you in the way of romance? Yep, chariot card. Can I please come over? Can we please make love? Can we do a little dance? <laughs> Get down tonight. The chariot card, your person wants to come in and talk to you. They want, they want to say, honey, I'm home, but, you know, they're tied to someone else or so it seems. Okay, where is the devil card coming into play here? How is this devil card playing out? Okay, so we have, yep, the queen of wands. So you were, quote unquote, the other woman. They put you in that situation. The three of coins. It looks like you probably worked on projects together. You met this person through work. The daughter of pentacles is a page of pentacles. Uh, you got to know each other over a period of time, Virgo energy. The moon card says that with the two of swords, they're not going to change. They're not going to change the circumstances. They're simply coming in to ask for forgiveness so they can, you know, visit you again, have the relationship again. Um, it's a sincere apology, but what the heck, you know, at the end of the day, you're furious. You know, I don't think, I don't see you taking them back. Let's look and see though. Okay, before we do this clarifier with the heart of the fairy oracle tells us what made somebody, what motivated them to behave badly in this particular circumstance. But we're going to look at the destiny cards for this week. What is your destiny? As you close out the week, what are you feeling? What are you feeling? What are you feeling? Begin now. Take your first step. So you're off to a new beginning. I do not see you really... You know, this person was a good lover because you do feel this eight of wands towards them. That is a lot of passion. So before we look at their destiny card, we're going to look at their motivators here. Why are they, Why were they motivated to put you into this third party situation yet not tell you? They held back, you know. The remembrance. Oh my goodness, you remind them of somebody, their attachment to you was out of a deep sense of memory from another life. That infinity symbol is very profound. I see this very much as a soulmate card because you don't you don't have the infinity symbol without soulmate energy. Whether you were a child, whether you were lovers, whatever the relationship was, they remembered you from another life. The paradox, they didn't even, they couldn't ever really figure it out. This person knew that they were compelled to come towards you. Prince of Shadows, a memory of another life in which I feel as though you're acting out a karmic situation or they're acting out a karma with you in your life. Tell us more about why they think that they should come back and get your attention. You know, they really are going to make a plea for your attention. The Queen of Owls. They see you as a bright spot in a very dark life. And a very, they feel, I feel as though they're in a bad place. I feel as though your person probably is a workaholic. They don't have a lot of fun. There's this feeling that they struggle. And they see you as a person of great wisdom, as, as a person that brings them great happiness. You give them the feeling uh, that there is life after, you know, difficulty and the returning. Oh, there we go. They want to return. That is the request that they're making. So why do we get the devil energy, the moon energy, the not willing to change energy? Okay, so the devil energy is coming up first. Late. Well, they're obsessed with you. They're totally obsessed with you. You're so unique. You're so different, Pisces. The, the lady of unicorns is a person who really wants to have uh, human lovers. She loves human lovers. So she wants somebody who's very different from what she can get in her own, with her own people, so to speak. And I don't mean that in any way other than just unicorns. So we get that energy that they're obsessed with you. You're different. You bring love and light and happiness and joy and wisdom into their life. They're obsessed with the idea of returning. We get the, the queen of the night. They do. That Your person has, I feel as though they had probably a very deep loss in their life. There might be a mother. There might be someone that they lost early on that has, you know, just sort of thrown a shadow over their life. And you're the bright spot. Look at this. You're the bright spot all the way. 
we also get the captive man. There we go. Usually the captive man is somebody who gets himself into a third party situation and sort of likes it, sort of likes being stuck. They, you know, it's, it's sort of, you know, when, have you ever heard the saying, you know, misery loves company? It's, it's a person who is really actually miserable and yet they kind of like this energy that more than one person would try to have them or be with them. So the captive man says that this person, again, with the two of swords and the moon card, they're not really going to disclose to you that they're comfortable with the way things are. They're not going to say it to you, though. They're going to come in. They're going to apologize. They're going to ask to return. I feel as though they'll be very hard to resist. Vast vistas expand your horizons. So as they finish out the week, they they understand that I don't think that you're going to take them back. Vast vistas expand your horizon to me really says that you're not going to accept them back. That you're going to go do your thing. That you're going off on another path. You know, you have this. Begin now. Take your first step to begin something new, and you leave them in sort of this abyss. So I'm going to leave it there for you. Thanks so much, Pisces. Take care. Bye-bye.